In one of my most recent videos, I showed you guys how to make Belizean white rice. Joshua didn't know that I had this rice, so he made some more. So because I have so much rice left over, I'm going to use it to make some fried rice. And I'm going to go ahead and use leftover chicken from this video right here that I made. Let's make some fried rice. Welcome to the Bear Pantry Show. If you want to learn how to cook in simple steps and have your dishes come out great the first time, then you're in the right place. Learn to make restaurant style meals, comfort foods, and authentic Belizean dishes from basic ingredients. I wish I had some fresh peas and carrots to use, but you know what? This can will do. The hardest part is getting the can open. And for the person who asks, who doesn't own an electric can opener? Me, 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 me. I've never owned one. So I have the leftover chicken. I've got three eggs here some diced up red onion. I've drained the can of peas and carrots as you saw just now. And this is the white rice that Joshua made in the rice cooker. So it's hard and cold from the fridge, which is the best way to do the fried rice. So now I'm gonna use a little bit of butter to put in my skillet because I wanna fry two of the three eggs, okay? We're gonna reserve one. So of course you can fry the egg without the butter, but it tends to still stick in the pan even though the pan is new and it's non-stick. So just a little bit, a smidgen. Let's crack open my two eggs and they're large eggs. Remember from the grocery haul, we got like 10 dozen of these eggs. And we're just gonna go ahead and scramble these, okay? Nothing fancy. So let me go ahead and crack this one and beat it or whisk it and set it aside. This is for when we add the rice to the pan. Let's check on our eggs. Coming along nicely. And if you didn't have any chicken or any other type of meat to put in the fried rice, this egg alone would be a good um, replacement for the protein, right? Now let me go ahead and take care of the chicken. It's cold from the fridge. Let me set this aside first. And there's just a few pieces in here, some breast pieces and a couple of the bony parts like the backs. I'm trying to pick it so that I get rid of the bone or the bones. I notice as Belizeans, when we're talking Creole, we don't say anything as plural. I just started to notice that. <laughs> So take the meat off and then use a good knife to go ahead and cut up the meat into small pieces. I don't want to shred it. For some reason, I don't like shredded meat. I don't like shredded beef, shredded pork. Well, I don't like pork, period. I only eat bacon and ham. You know, that's the only part of the pork I'll eat. But I like my meat to be chunked rather than shredded. So now let's go back to our pan that I've washed and dried. Put some olive oil. You don't need to put this much. This is more like two tablespoons. One tablespoon will do. I think I got heavy handed. I want to make sure it's hot because I want to hear the onions sizzle. And if you don't have red onions, use yellow or white. This is all I had right now in the fridge. And I just want to saute this until it's translucent. And then I'm going to go ahead and add the chicken. And remember that the chicken is already cooked, so it's already seasoned with salt, pepper, and other spices. So we have to be very careful if we're going to add more salt to this dish. My white rice is not salted because we never put salt in the white rice. Ever since I got diagnosed with Meniere's back when I was 29 years old, I stopped putting salt in a lot of the things that I eat because, you know, too much salt will cause fluid retention and will cause the dizzy spells to come on. Garlic powder, because I don't have any fresh garlic left. Let me go ahead and give this a stir. We're just kind of heating up the meat here and making sure that it mixes in with the onion. Okay, so just let me continue to stir this until it becomes well incorporated. Shout out to everyone who has been picking up a copy of my book. Well, actually books, because some of you have been picking up the Belizean cookbook also, Beans and Rice, Volume 2. And remember that book replaces the one that's being sold on Amazon. Don't pick up that book from Amazon, guys. Make sure you pick up your book from me and only me. 
The links are in the description. If you are looking at me on Facebook, I know you can't see whatever's in the description. So just email me at bearpantryshow at gmail.com. I've dropped it here on the bottom of the screen, okay? So you guys can purchase your book or books. So I'm not going to put soy sauce again because I have many ears. So I'm just putting some balsamic vinegar. And I know some of you have told me before what to replace the soy sauce with that will not have MSG. Can you please drop it below again if you know the name of the thing? I think it's like amino acids or something, right? If you have a brand or whatever, please let me know so I can purchase that for the next time I do something Asian, okay? Something that needs soy sauce. So I've dumped all that stuff next to the egg on this platter here and my camera guy is not moving the camera for nothing guys. <laughs> So now, let's add some more extra virgin olive oil. Get your hands wet guys, because that's the best way to separate this cold springy rice. This is going to be a whole mess. Let me just kind of separate a big chunk of it. So this looks like a little bit over a cup if you pack it tight into a cup. And let me go ahead and dump this in the skillet to see if I'm gonna need more. Yeah, let's get some more. Joshua did three cups of rice because he didn't know that we did three cups of rice on the stove top when I did that video. So rice doesn't go to waste in this house at all, guys. This is a Belizean household after all. We're rice eaters in here. Okay. Let me start frying it up in the oil. And remember that one egg that we set aside? We cracked it and we beat it but set it aside? This is a trick an old Belizean lady taught me years ago. She says, you put this egg in here like this and it'll coat the rice grains and make um, the fried rice even more crispy because I can't stand a soggy fried rice. Can you? I want it to be crispy, you know? So I'm just going to spend time making sure that the egg coats the grains. So we're coming along nicely here. See how it's changing the color? Now add back the egg, the cooked eggs, and then the meat medley with the peas and carrots, and the onions, of course. And then just stir this whole thing together. See now the rice grains won't become too soft or soggy because we did that trick with the egg. Let me grab my spurtle myrtle thing here. Hi, Cindy. Every time you guys send me a gift and I use the gift, I remember you. And then I pray for you. Because it's a blessing. It's a blessing to be able to receive from you guys and it's a blessing to be able to give back to you guys. Thank you so much. See how good this is looking? I'm going to add some more of this balsamic vinegar because I think we can use it. Take all the time you need to make sure that it gets mixed in well. And then go ahead and plate it on a big beautiful platter like this. And then you know what guys? I think I'm going to do a mukbang. Look for that video tomorrow. Remember guys, we are not buying this book. Because if you do, the only people that are making money from that book are my ex-distributor and Amazon. Pick up this book instead. This is my Belizean cookbook. It has 120 authentic Belizean dishes that I've done on the show already, but now you can have it in print so you can follow along and your dishes will come out perfect each time. Hot off the presses, this is my second cookbook, guys. It's called The Pantry Laid Bare, and I named it that because I laid everything on the line when I picked the recipes for this book, all right? 111 delicious dishes from Basic Ingredients. To purchase, just check below on any of my videos and you'll see the different methods of payment and also the shipping. Thanks guys!